It's Sunday, October 23rd here at the West End Gun Club. It's almost seven o'clock. I'm pretty much done, almost done setting up all the targets for our, the October NRL 22 match that we're holding today. I got here early, of course, but uh, it took me a lot longer to get all the targets out. I was trying to get stuff set up quickly because I need to zero. I want to zero before people get here because I have a, someone's going to borrow a rifle and I don't know what ammo this is going to shooting right now in my CZ. So I'm going to, I want to hurry up and set up a target out there. I don't like to shoot when people are arriving only because technically it's supposed to be in a ceasefire condition. I don't want people coming out while I'm zeroing and like bringing their guns out and then thinking, hey, I can shoot too. Um, I, usually I would just wait for the zeroing period because everyone's going to have a zeroing period and you know, get 30 minutes to zero, but I, I have to get this gun figured out um, and then I have to just confirm my guns too. So uh, I'm going to try to do that quickly um, and then get the rest of the targets set up. But let me get my zeroing targets set up for everyone else and then put them all out there and then um, get all my paperwork ready for when people arrive. not walk or drive past any safety barricades or cones. The main thing is that container there marks C1. I put a little orange cone in front of that. There's a gentleman who runs another match on the other side of the range. He sometimes goes in there to get his gear, so we just don't want to put anything in front of that so he doesn't have to ask you to move your stuff while we're shooting. So just try to keep that area clear for him. Yeah. I did a little thing in my app and okay. Spotters ready? Ready. Sorry, safe. My bad. Impact. Right, safe, and I dropped my magazine again because the stupid lever I wish I shouldn't have bought.
Impact. And I dropped my mag again. It's a lever up. Impact. Impact. Right. Safe. Impact. Impact. Yes, I do. Okay, shooter ready. Yes, I am. Stand by. Where the heck is it? Red. Well, if I put the bolt back. In fact. In fact. Try not to touch my lever. Put back out on this thing. Impact. 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 Save. Down there. Missed one. Not good. Impact. Moving. And I just kneeled on the brass. Ah. Oh. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Impact. Hurry, hurry. Nine seconds. Impact. Impact. Alright, good Back. 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 And that missed. That was a miss. Impact. Is it blue? 
Underneath. Minus two. So right to left wind. Went underneath again. Quarter, quarter. Quarter, quarter. Quarter, quarter. Twenty eight on. Impact. Yeah. Got to wait for it to stop spinning, and then I'll shoot again. Thirty seconds. Impact. Got you for seven. 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 Okay, so top 10. Um, top 10, we'll start with the first base class today. That's Ian Ellis with a score of 383.82. Where's Ian? 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 Uh, we have Aaron Gifford with 393.30. I challenge that. Hey. 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 Uh, number eight overall, Chris Filt, open class, 413.75. Uh, number seven, Anthony Shaw, open class, with a score of 424.28. Uh, sixth overall, he's actually uh, OG. We have... Uh, Burt Johnson, 424.48. Uh, fifth overall, crap, stupid tablet. Daniel Waxman, open class, 452.11. Uh, fourth overall is myself, Jonathan Okav, with an open class score of 453.31. Third overall, Open class JD Darley with a score of 463.49. Second overall OG, actually, so top OG for today. Uh, John Litzinger with a score of 464.22. I think it's the first time winner here at the club for uh, number one overall open class. We have Ethan Carroll, 474.15. MTR, a CZ 457 MTR. And you got it in a chassis now? Or? Uh, Bravo. Yeah. Cool. Congratulations. Good shooting. Uh, and to wind us down, we'll give away um, these are Bushnell sunglasses. Well, I've not seen these before, but we're giving two away. Um, I guess I'll just randomly draw or. Travis one around there. I'm no fan of white. <laughs> Somebody draw. Uh, you're, you're closest, though. So. You're the draw. Oh, Travis! Oh, well, how lucky! Ethan Carroll. Yeah, one of them is a, a woman's. So. Girl, Buffalo. You pick the next person. Let him pick the next person. So I don't. Have to. <laughs> so this is a gift for a, a woman, I guess. Or if you want to wear female glasses, it's fine. Uh, Tito Allegria. Hey, Tito. Thank you. Oh, one more. Uh, and I got some carbon C4 carbon cleaner bottle for anyone, and that is Chuck Amento. Hey, Chuck! Here you go, sir. Thank you. It's a quarter after 12. Everyone's cleared out. I've got the props and the barricades put away. Uh, it was a good match. 24 total shooters. We had more than that signed up originally, but a few no-shows, which is to be expected. Travis and Brittany with the NR NRL came by, so uh, they, Travis shot the match, um, but Brittany also brought some stuff for me to give away, and we gave away some Bushnell uh, glasses, sunglasses that they had, and so that was cool, and, and Brittany also provided me a bunch of these t-shirts, so I have some stuff to give away for the future matches. 
And she also brought some candy for us, so all the uh, match participants partook in some candy here. Uh, that being said, uh, sat, you know, I'm happy with the turnout. Uh, we had some good shooting today. Um, not much separating in the top top five people. It's just a couple shots for top five. And uh, my own personal performance, I was fourth overall with a 453. And my 1022, which I shot today, did did pretty well, to be honest. I uh, Two or three of those shots that I missed were user error. I didn't hold over enough for the last stage that we shot for the far target on the small two inch, two inch target, I think. I think if I held about 10th more, I would have been fine. But the wind caught me a little bit, and plus I was coming in under. So, you know, it is what it is. That's just how it pans out. But I have good confidence in my 1022 with the Ely ammo, which I was shooting, which i digging in my pockets. I don't even think I have a box here with me. Yeah, I have all my stuff in my pockets right now because I didn't use my belt. But my mags ran fine, no issues. The only issue I had, um, I don't know if I caught it on camera because the first stage we fired, I forgot to set up my camera because just so many things going on being a match being the match director, also running a squad, and then trying to film at the same time, it just doesn't work. But uh, it happened on a couple stages where I was hitting the lever. I'll actually grab that quickly because it's right here. Sorry, coming off camera. So I got the kid trigger. I just put the kid trigger on it uh, two days ago. So I have a kid trigger. It's a one and a half single stage, one and a half pounds. But I got the speed lever here, and I'm regretting getting it because the problem is, is my hand is in you know, hits it, like naturally wants to hit it and it ejects my mag. So I dropped my mag several times in the middle of the stage. So what I'm probably gonna do is remove it because I, I believe they gave me the uh, a safety lever. I can replace it with just a flat safety lever. Or what I'm actually thinking about doing is just, I don't know, maybe taking some of this off, grinding it down so it's not sticking out into my hand because just natural hand movement you can't really see it on camera, but just my hand nudging it. If I just kind of relax my hand and I'm coming down, I'll just brush it and I'll release the magazine. So kind of regretting getting that. Although it is handy for speed reloads, right? Because this is to drop your mag. So, um, But in NRL 22, I feel like it's not really necessary. So I should, probably should not have gotten that. But I'll deal with it. I'll, I'll figure a way out of uh, figure a way to to take care of it. Either swapping out or even grinding off that lever, grinding the lever down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I shot the 1022 today. I am not unhappy with it. I think it does quite well in NRL 22, at least the short, the, the regular course. Beyond 100, maybe I'll have to take it out. And sometime I've never shot it beyond 100, I don't think. So I'll try it out maybe one day and take it out to 300 and see how it goes with the Ely ammo that I'm shooting. Um, and then my Voodoo, uh, for those of you who may follow my Instagram, I did a short reference to it, but. I did a story where I said I, I received my, my bolt back. So I sent my, my bolt to Voodoo. Um, off my last vlog, someone uh, reached out to me and told me that I might be having a, a firing, spin, uh, firing pin spring issue. Uh, they said they had a similar issue where they were getting a lot of flyers after about 3,000 rounds. And come to find out that uh, Voodoo released a heavier firing pin spring because I think they came stock with 18s originally and they've gone up to a 22, I think, in some guns. And he said that maybe my firing pin spring is worn out and it's not striking hard enough and I'm getting flyers. And it does lend to make some sense because the ammo that I'm shooting that I got lot tested that I bought from Lapua, that's actually kind of the newer, like it's relatively new compared to the stuff I was shooting prior. It was all like older ammo. So from what I understand, there might be harder um, rims and primers on newer generations of Lapua. But either way, a heavier firing pin spring can get you more consistency, uh, especially if your other firing spin, your older one, has just kind of worn out and it's lost its uh, spring ten, you know, its spring rate. Either way, I'm probably gonna shoot that right now before I leave, but I'm gonna probably do it off camera and we'll see where that goes and you'll have to find out in the next vlog or follow my Instagram. Maybe I'll post about it, uh, how it came out today. It is a little breezy, but I should be able to get enough results to get it, to find out if there's flyers. Anyway. Uh, next match is going to be Thanksgiving Day weekend. The November match is going to be for Sunday of November, which is the Sunday after Thanksgiving. So if you're interested and you've got like free time, you're in, still in town, definitely come on out. Anyway, that's it for today, October 23rd here at the West End Gun Club. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog.